Good afternoon. Tuesday, July 5th. Pretty windy out here, but fishable. The waves aren't too big. And still it's pretty clear. The water's been really clear, which is good for me. Um, I have been itching to catch a really nice halibut. And I think this is the spot. This is like all the different spots I go. This is where I've caught the most. Not the biggest, but the most. So I'm going to start throwing the crocodile I caught a bunch on in the last video. Start with that, see what happens. So, wish me luck. Let's do it. Oh, there's something. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. All right. Super clear water. Game on, man. Game on. Finally got some on here. The little shorty, little baby guy. That's about a 12 incher. Baby California halibut. He's cute. He's a little cutie. Look at that camo on the bottom. It here, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is a good size one. Okay, we do not want to lose this one. No, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Okay. Come on, get up on the sand here, buddy. Oh no. Get up. Sorry, bud. You are coming home with me today. Yes, that is what I have been waiting for. 
That is what I've been waiting for. I'm gonna say that is about 30 inches. Finally, man, I've been working all day for you, buddy. Sweet. Sweetness. That feels so good. Yes, that is the one I've been waiting for. Oh my yes. God, dude. Right at the tip there. And he is just about 30. Good right? day today. Too short halibut, real short halibut, but made up for it. At the end of the day, I was almost getting ready to call it quits and catch the big toad. Finally get to say it out loud. Caught a big toad. I'm really stoked and uh, I'm gonna go cook this guy. So if you wanna see a cool halibut recipe and my kitchen, um, check it out. So this is gonna be lemon, capers, preparing lemons right now, just giving them a quick little broil in the oven. Um, and then I'm gonna be chopping up these chives and making a little dressing. Okay, gotta get those lemons nice and crispy on top, brown them a little bit. All right, so in here we have juice from those slightly broiled lemons, olive oil, salt, pepper, about a tablespoon of capers, and the chives. So this is our, gonna be our little dressing that we put on the halibut after it's cooked. And in here, we just have a little bit of salt, some onion flakes, and we're gonna add some of this uh, finely chopped dill here and this is going to be our dry rub that goes on prior to the fish going in the oven tip for you fishermen out there a good practice to have would be anytime you are filleting a fish preparing a fish uh, take some fresh salt water home with you so that when you fillet that fish as soon as you're done you can give it one last quick bath in the salt water before you bag it up and prepare it for uh, dinner a couple days later that'll definitely keep the fish more firm more fresh less slimy and it just really yields a much higher quality filet when you're about to prepare. That's looking real nice. Okay, see here. Dang, that's perfect. Ha, 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 ha.